I'm an empiricist. And I'm a rationalist. So, w what are you doing there? Oh, I'm just thinking about my dreams. But dreams don't exist, do they? Well, if I believe it, then it has to exist. But I can't touch it, I can't see it, I can't even feel it. So, dreams must not exist. I mean, if you can't sense it, you don't really know that it exists. Well, as Plato said in his Simile of the Line, as long as I can conceive and conceptualize my dreams, then I can gain an understanding of its existence. So, uh, what's that in your hand then? Well, this is my action figure. Wow, that's awesome! Do you ever play with its shadow? Well, that would be difficult. I mean, the shadow doesn't even exist. It's just created by the puppet, but I can't feel it or smell it, so obviously it isn't real. I can see that we aren't really getting off to a good start, but think about it. What makes the shadow any less real than the puppet? How about the fact that if I turn the lights off, then it won't even exist? But it still exists in my mind, so it has to exist. Well, how do you know that it really exists? How do you obtain your knowledge? I was born with all this knowledge. So you're saying that you know everything? Well, I know only what I remember. But we are all born with this knowledge engraved into our brains. It just becomes easier to recollect more knowledge as you mature. So. You're going to discount all your experience from the acquisition of your knowledge? Take it this way. What if your senses are just being generated by some demon? I mean, how would you truly know anything unless you conceptualized it? Well, to be is to be perceived. And through the perception of the world, we obtain knowledge. So, if you turn away from me, I disappear because I'm not being perceived. Yo, are you going to math? Uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Alright, see you there. Well, from my point of view, yes. However, because God is watching you and perceiving you, you won't disappear. So if you're saying that experience gives you knowledge, and so does sense perception, then explain how every time you see a table, you know that it is a table rather than something else. I mean, how do you apply the name of, to all tables after only seeing one? Well. Clearly it's a table because it has a surface and it's held up on legs. Then I must be a table too.